Hey everyone, so it is week 48 weigh-in. And that means there's only two more weeks until 50, which means... Uh, that is crazy. I can't believe... Like, I, I know everyone says this every week that they weigh in, but they can't believe they've been doing it for so long because I never th knew... Like, I don't think people understand that when you see someone who's lost a lot of weight. They don't understand that the person themselves did not know that they were capable of this. Like, if they were capable of it, they wouldn't have been big for so long. And I was big for so long. So to be able to say week 48 of being on Weight Watchers is incredible. So I hope you guys liked my food vlog. If you didn't get a chance to watch it, I posted it late last night, so you'll have two videos from me today. So you got to see I got went up a mountain. I can't believe, okay, I'm gonna show you, uh, I can't show you guys the mountain. I can see it from my window, but I can't show it to you guys because then you can kind of figure out where I live and I don't want that to happen, sorry. But um, yeah, I climbed the mountain, I went roller skating and in my neighborhood, it's very hilly and you have to climb up you have to climb down and it's just a lot of fun. I hope you guys got to got to enjoy that. So um yeah, so the weigh in. Uh it was a really good weigh in. I got three workouts this week and uh I roller skated twice, I climbed up the mountain once, and I went to the gym once. So as you can see, like I really don't like to be in the gym because to me that's a little boring. If I have to go to the gym, I enjoy it. You know, I go in there and I work it out I get I you know I work really hard in the gym I'm in there usually for more than an hour so uh, when I do go to the gym I I really work hard but I like to be outside especially when it's beautiful weather out so got three workouts in this week I ate amazing this week like there was some days where I went 1700 calories some days I went 14 some days I went 15 the 1700 calorie days were the days I um, had a good workout in um, I usually stayed in between 30 points and 34 points, and as of today, they dropped me down to 35 points. Now, a lot of people are going to notice that, you know, I still get a, quite a few points, but you have to realize I'm, I'm really tall, so uh, I'm sure those will, like the new points plus system, they're knocking points down because they're making it more flexible for you. So I don't know, as I get smaller, if my points are going to go down very drastically. They're going to get down to what I think the smallest number you can go is 26. But yeah, um, I'm still calorie counting and po counting points. Um, I'm really loving calorie counting, though, because it, it's, there's no way to mess it up. There's no way of like, you know, maybe I'll lose weight. No, I always know I'm going to lose weight when I stay within my calories. So might be changing up. I really love Weight Watchers, but... I see myself using calorie counting more in the future, so I don't know if I want to continue paying for it, but I would really love to make lifetime with Weight Watchers because that is like, I really want to be in a, a Weight Watchers uh, um, ad when I reach goal, so I really want to be in one of their commercials. So I don't know, maybe I'll stick with Weight Watchers. It's been working, you know, there's, I love the program, so no, no changes so far, but it's just been thoughts. So, oh my God, three minutes into this video and I still haven't told you my weight. So I lost 2.8 pounds this week, 2.8 pounds, which is almost three pounds. I lost almost three pounds this week. And I can officially tell you guys this. I'm in Wonderland. I'm in Wonderland. I am in Wonderland. And I'm not in Wonderland by like a smidge. I'm in Wonderland. I'm 198.6, 198.6. I am in freaking Wonderland. I cannot believe that. I'm under 200 pounds. I haven't been under 200 pounds since maybe eighth grade. I can't even remember the last time I was under 200 pounds. Like, I think it was eighth grade. It could have been older. It could have been younger. I don't know. I just always been big. So, yeah, I'm 198.6, which is crazy. People, I started at 324. 324, it hasn't even been a year. And I haven't done anything crazy. I just lot, I've just been eating well, eating healthy every single day. There's been a day here and there when I was traveling, I did not eat healthy. And I exercise like a, I don't, and I don't exercise like a maniac. I exercise to make it fun, you know? So I'm in Wonderland. How cool is that? I'm officially in Wonderland. 
So that means I only have about 20 more pounds to lose to reach goal or my personal goal. If I can get smaller than that, cool. If my body wants to hang out in the 180s, I'm perfectly content with that as long as I know I'm healthy. And to be under the 200s is a sign of being healthy to me. Um, not, not the size of my clothes, not the number on the scale, but to have that two out of my weight is incredible. So I have surgery in eight days. I have my uh, tummy tuck in eight days. So I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to not get smacked by my stomach because I, I have, a, um, what happened with me is I have what they call an apron. Um, just imagine an apron and that's what my stomach is. Um, it's just a lot of excess skin and it's annoying and it bothers me. And not only am I self-conscious about it, but it hurts. Like, uh, Sonia, little fat me blog. She's, it hurts when it, when it, it, it just is uncomfortable. You know, it's not comfortable to exercise with it. When I run, it like smacks me. It's embarrassing when I can hear it smack me and it needs to be gone. So I'm not embarrassed about saying I'm getting a tummy tuck. I'm really, really excited about it. I'm not nervous at all yet. Um, I don't, I'm ashamed of giving a tummy tuck. I know a lot of people can't afford it. I'm very grateful and thankful that I can, uh, especially since I've only been losing weight for less than a year. So I'm really, really excited for it. Um, I haven't decided you, if I'm going to show you guys a pre-shot of my stomach before I get it because I want, I want those memories to see the difference. So if I do do a post shot, it will be the day before surgery, which is next Sunday. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to do a body shot. I'm going to do a body shot right now just to see, just to, for you guys and myself to see at 198, this is what I weigh. And I picked the wrong freaking shirt. Like it's cold outside. So I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. As you can tell, it's a long sleeve. Um, this shirt is way too big, but it's my only long sleeve shirt. I need to go get some more, but yeah. So I'm going to do a body shot. This video is way too long and I'm going to let you guys go. And I hope you all had amazing losses like I did. If you didn't, if you just had to maintain or if you gained a little bit of weight, it's don't feel discouraged. It happens to all of us. I've gained quite a few times on this journey and I just put it in the past because that's where it belongs. You know, we didn't start this journey to dwell in the past. We want to think of the future. So yeah, I'm going to do a body shot and I'll let you guys go. And I will all, I want to, I'm going to watch all you guys' videos to see how great you're doing. I'm so excited for this time in my life because it's, I feel like a different person. I literally feel like a different person. Go watch my first video and then come look at me now. It's like two different people. I feel like then I was like this sad individual who didn't know what to do with their life. And now there's so many possibilities that I can't even think of what more I can do to, uh, to, to enjoy my life more because I get to do so much more now. So I'm going to do a body shot and I will see you guys next week. All right. Um, so you can see the shirt. I used to wear this when I was bigger, so you can tell it's pretty baggy, but like I said, it's my only long sleeve. So if I pull it tighter, you guys can see how I've, um, gotten smaller in the waist right here this is all getting cut off look how high I have to wear my jeans because of right here this is the extra skin that's being removed um, these jeans are 14s and you can tell I can pull them away pretty far they're stretchy so um, they stay on me pretty well but um, yeah I can't wait to be able to fit into like a 12 or a 10 because then I won't have to like be constantly pulling my jeans up but um, I'm not buying any more jeans until after the surgery because it's just a waste of money also um, I think I'm gonna be giving away some clothes um, for you guys that are losing weight and you're getting down to smaller sizes I have sizes between I think 20 to maybe 18 and I think I might have a few t-shirts that not t-shirts but like nice tops like I have a bunch of nice tops that I used to wear a lot but they're too big now so message me. You don't have to write in the comments because I know, you know, privacy. But if you want to message me and say if you're interested in free clothes, because I have a lot of nice clothes that I need to get rid of. I also have a lot of nice shoes that um, are sizes 12 because I have white, I used to have really white feet. So if you're interested in any of those clothes, don't feel like you're getting hand-me-downs because they're barely worn because 
I wasn't comfortable with clothes before. So, yeah. Let me know, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Wonderland.